I'm not too impressed what I see out of video games. So what happened was my favorite game is MLB The Show. And I've been excited to see 23 come out. What I did was I got Game Pass because it's, it's on there. And I only spent a dollar for this month. My kids got a next gen console and I got the old gen or Xbox One. Um, so I downloaded the game on my Game Pass and I checked it out and there's some cool features on it. But there's nothing like really hugely upgraded that I like. For instance, there should be more different more hairstyles. Um the record book only shows one, you know, the, the top record. They don't show like the top five, at least the top five. They don't have well, I didn't look at this, but I'm pretty sure they didn't change this. They didn't change any of that. They didn't change, um, like an NBA, you can look back at your awards that you've gotten in the past. You can't do that on that game. Um, there's no downloadable draft classes that you can do where people like, you know, regular people make draft classes and they're pretty accurate. They're pretty good. So you just get random generated players and you got to add them in yourself after the draft. Um, like edit players or whatever. You still have, you can only trade three players off your team at a time. Um, and from what I've seen, the only difference between uh, next gen version because I looked at my on my kids console and last gen is you can create stadiums for franchise mode and that's what I like to play is a franchise mode um, it's pretty much the same game I downloaded 22 because I got 21 I own 21 I downloaded 22 and it's pretty much the exact same game as 21. I only put, I only needed to look at it for a little bit. And it, even 22 regressed because it didn't say my last name. Um, so I liked it even less. It's just like the attention to detail. Like, yeah, that's cool. They redid the draft and scouting, which I really didn't care about anyway. I just auto did that. Um, it's just like, you know, like the shit I've been talking about, the little attention to details. I don't even think you do expansion. The NBA is like the best for all that. They're like the king. And, and you know what else I, I don't understand is why they don't have tattoos. Um, an NBA... They got tattoos. All these players got their tattoos. Why is like M uh, Madden and MLB like they don't have the, the players don't have their tattoos? Only like a couple little tiny tattoos, um, or a couple players. If NBA can do it, why can't they do it? And if they can't do like the real tattoos, then just do some kind of generic tattoos. And I want to be able to put, you know, this is the stuff I'm talking about. And the stuff I'm talking about, like, they've already done the stuff. They just took it out of the game. Uh, the graphics are way better than they were 15 years ago. But this is this type of stuff that I'm talking about, um, that they haven't, they've taken out of the game and, 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 they went backwards when it comes to franchise mode. Um, I 
I don't see a point to play the Diamond Dynasty or the, the Ultimate Team crap. It's the same thing. You know, whatever I earn this year, I'm going to lose for the new game. I don't even see a point of coming out with the new game every year. Honestly, all they should do, if they're not going to really uh, do too much for the, t the tweaks, they can just, like, instead of having to pay 60 or $70 for the new game, just, just break up the game so I can buy parts of the game I want to play. Like the Negro Leagues, I liked it. That's that's cool. That's a cool thing that they added. And I'd pay probably a good $15 for that expansion pack to play that. You know, these games, they stop updating, like, everything when, when the season's over. So, like, right now, the draft's about to happen in NFL, right? Well, the people, the people who who do the, like the rosters, like the regular people, and they upload, like that's cool. You can do that. But they don't do that because they only want to do that for their new game that comes out in August, and it's April. Why don't they have it so I can buy an updated roster right now after the draft? You know what I mean? It does, it's just like, you don't need to come out with a new game every year. You can just come out with a, like a patch. Everything is pretty much digital now anyway. Um, and if they come out with some type of a patch, let a person order it right from the actual place where they make the games. They want to still get the, the hard copy of this, you know, whatever. I just think that they need to break it up, man. Like, I'm I'm looking at wrestling, WWE. I'm not I'm not wanting to buy that. There's it's it's better than last year's, but it's not like a, it's not worth me spending sixty bucks. These games I'm talking about, when they go on sale for like twenty bucks, maybe I'll buy them then. But I don't see a point of spending a good sixty dollars on a game that I already have, basically, that has a couple tweaks. And this isn't just sports games, this is like Call of Duty or whatever games they come out with, Battlefield. It's basically the same game, just repackaged. Um, and, and I was thinking about just getting a next gen console for that game, MLB The Show, 2023. 20, like, I was going to spend big bucks, man. 60 bucks, 70 bucks for the new game plus the console. And I and I seen that and I'm like, it's not worth it, man, for a couple little upgrades. I want to see massive upgrades. If they if they upgraded it to, to make it parallel to NBA 2K 23 franchise, which they've had, like, NBA franchise has pretty much been the same, I think, since, like, 20. It's pretty much been the same, and these other companies haven't done anything to match what they bring to the table. Then I would upgrade. I don't see a massive upgrade. I just don't. Um, like I said, scouting and, the, and, and drafting a couple of players that, that are randoms that come up on stage, that just doesn't, that's not appealing to me. But I don't blame these companies for putting out the same game every year because people keep buying it at full price, too. Not only do these people keep buying it at full price, they spend a lot of extra money on these games. Like, there's so many different versions. There's probably, like, three or four versions of games. And, like, uh, like NBA or wrestling or something. You get all these extra, like... Um, crypt, like, not crypto, but uh, digital money, VC. They call it VC, the subs or whatever. It's basically in-game currency, and you pay for it. So the re the regular game just has the regular game, but if you want like like extra packs, you got to spend like I don't know. Some of these games are like 150 bucks 
for all that extra crap. So let's say I do do that. Let's say I buy that game. Um, uh, I then then I lose it all, and then I spend like more money, which I never do. But people spend like the real money. People spend like thousands of dollars for their my team or my player. Um, what, what 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 I think is cool and is a step in the right direction for for MLB is you can auction off your cards. I think that's cool. Um, the problem is is you don't you can't convert that to real money. They should put some type of uh, a currency in there where you can sell your cards and sell whatever you've done on your game on an auction. Uh, whether it's of credits or whatever to other people and then the government will get a tax off of it um, I'll get my cut for selling whatever I've done um, the the game the game the platform get, can get a cut and then the person who bought the stuff off of me um, maybe they got it at a discount because video games, they, they they seem like they're just becoming a work now. It's not even really about fun. It's not about like how it used to be about, about real enjoyment. Uh, if you're going to work your ass off, spend a lot of time grinding at a game, you should get something for it. Because when they come out with the next version, you just lose everything. And... That's how they make so much money as it is. Um, if they were innovating these games dramatic, dra dramatically every year, I get it, but they just don't. And I think I'm at the point where I just need to probably just focus on the real world. Um, because video games are stagnant. Entertainment pretty much is just stagnant. It's boring. They write a bunch of crap in Hollywood. There's no TV shows that are new that I'm interested in. I mean, I spend a lot of my time playing a game. It's usually a sports game, and then I'm listening to content. I spend a lot of time on Twitter now, too, but... I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Yeah.